Hi, boys and girls. Today we're going to play a quick game, and then I'm going to read a story. We're going to play a listening game. What do you think you need to use to play a listening game? Right, your ears. We're going to make sure our listening ears are on, because eyes are watching, but ears are listening, and we need our listening ears. We're going to see if we can identify an animal by its sound. So we're talking a little bit about communication, and communication is the way that we pass messages, feelings to each other. We can talk. We can use our body language. Remember, we could draw or use music. There's many ways to communicate, right? How do you think animals communicate? Do they talk? They do, but they make different sounds than us, right? So let's see if we can identify these animals by their sounds. Are you ready? Here's your first animal sound. Do you know what animal makes that sound? I wonder what that animal is saying. Would you like to hear it one more time? What animal made that sound? Are you thinking? Did you say cow? That's the noise that cows make. What do you think she's saying when she makes that noise? Hmm, I wonder. Would you like to hear the next animal? Let's try. What animal makes that noise? Hmm, I wonder what that animal is saying. Did you think about it? Did you say rooster? That's the sound a rooster makes. The rooster says, good job. Are we ready for the next one? Okay. What sound is that? Hmm. That's a different sound. Who do you think makes that sound? Did you say pig? That's the sound a pig makes. A pig makes that sound. Did you know that? All right, here's our next one. You listening? What is that? Who do you think makes that sound? Hmm, I'll play one more. Who makes that sound? Did you guess? Did you guess a sheep or a lamb? That's the sound a sheep makes. They say, bah. Very cool. You guys are so good at this game. Ready for the next one? We have one more sound. Who makes that sound? Is it familiar? Do you know? Did you guess that that was the sound a horse makes? That is the sound a horse makes. I wonder what the horse is saying. We're going to read a book. Did you notice there was something in common for those animals? What do all those animals have in common? They are all farm animals. And we're going to read The Noisy Farm. 
This is called the Noisy Farm. And it's all about farm animals. So I'm going to show you. This is a cow. She lives in a barn with her spotted calf. The cow likes to eat grass. Did you know that a baby cow is called a calf? Did you know that? A baby cow is called a calf. Can you moo like a cow? Pat the cow's back to hear her moo. There's some nice soft fur right here. Did you know that cows have fur? I'm gonna pat her. Did you hear her moo? That's the noise or sound that a cow makes. This is a rooster. He wakes up the farm each day with a loud crow. He lives with his hens and his chicks. So there's a hen and there's the chicks. See all the little chicks? That's what a baby chicken is called, chicks. Ruffle the rooster's feathers to hear him cock-a-doodle-doo. Roosters and chickens have feathers. So I'm going to find his noise. You ready? Huh? What do you think he's saying? Hmm. Interesting sounds. Who's next? The piglets are next. These are piglets. They are baby pigs. They like to play in the straw and roll in the mud. They have curly tails. A baby pig is called a piglet. And if you look close, you can see they have little curly tails. Tickle the piglet's ear to hear him oink. Can you oink like a pig? Look at his soft ear. Oh, it's so soft. Did you know that's the sound a pig makes? Want to hear it again? It's an interesting sound. These are lambs. Lambs are baby sheep. They like to jump and play. A baby sheep is called a lamb. They're jumping and playing. There's a little baby. There's a mama with her babies. Can you ba like a lamb? Stroke the lamb's fleece to hear her. So sheep and lambs don't have fur. They have fleece. It's a little bit different than fur. It kind of feels like a blanket. That's what fleece is. You ready to hear her? Did you hear that sound? Mm, ba like a sheep or a lamb. This is a horse with her foal. The horses are the fastest animal on the farm when they gallop through the fields. Can you neigh like a horse? Did you know a baby horse is called a foal? There's a baby. There's a baby right there. And there's one running with his mother. A baby horse is called a foal. Touch the horse's mane to hear her neigh. Horses have all this beautiful hair. It's called a mane. A mane. That's what the hair is called. And I'm going to touch it. Did you know that's the sound a horse made? Can you neigh like a horse? Moo, ba, cock a doodle do, neigh, and oink. Now that you've visited the farm, which animal is your favorite? Do you have a favorite animal? Do you have a favorite barn or farm animal? Can you make all of the sounds? Can you moo like a cow, ba like a sheep, cock a doodle do like a rooster? Neigh like a horse or oink like a pig? Press the button to hear all of the animals again. Are you ready to hear them all together? That's 
It's a lot of different noises all at once. Can you see them all? Hmm, what do you think those animals are saying? How do you think an animal says hello or goodbye? Does it sound different? Our words sound different when we say them, right? Hello, goodbye, they do sound different. Do you think animals have different sounds for different words? I wonder. Hmm. Well, thank you for joining me today for our activity. I hope you had fun and I hope you practice some animal noises. Have mom, dad, or your grown up take a video of you making animal noises and you can put it on Seesaw so I can hear it and we can share together. Bye guys, I'll see you again soon. Have fun making animal noises. See if you can come up with one that's not in our book. Hmm, I wonder if you can find an animal or make a sound of an animal that's not in our book. Please share with me, I'd love to hear it. Bye guys.